Good morning, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and Dooley. He's, he's in a meeting. He's busy. I'm going to have to pay him for this appearance. That's for sure. Yeah. Going to have to pay him for this appearance. He's like, did you just touch my leg, Mama? Um, the only thing he does for free is the public service of watering and fertilizing landscape. So, <laughs> let's talk about Let's talk about pot holders and dishcloths, right? <clears throat> this pot holder is in my um, the playlist where I have four videos for kitchen gift sets. Um, this is, I'm going to get out of the frame here. This is a very thick thermal stitch pot holder, right? So, and this one mom has had, I, I don't know when I gave this to her, but it's, it's been around. It's been washed and it's a little, I mean, for my little hands, it's just fine. But I have in my um, video tutorial on how to make this, which will be in that playlist. I, ha I was doing a beginning chain of 33. Well, now I do 36. To make these a little better because they do uh, this kind of cotton doesn't really shrink but it does tighten up now that i also gave her several years ago a beautiful set of um of dishcloths i'll find you know a picture of what i used to make for sale let's turn it this way um with a you know, contrasting stripe in it. I used to make these. Now these are all, like this one right here is made out, whoops. <laughs> that one is made out of that burgundy color. I Those are my favorite ones ever. The That was made out of um, Crafter's Secret cotton. And those, um, those little balls, they're not very big, but I love that burgundy color. So what I made her was out of Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and I made it in that, um, like a red, like that red with a white stripe and they were beautiful. And I made them with a uh, beginning chain of 33, but that I love this cotton. I mean, those really shrank and they didn't seem to hold up well you know, with lots of kitchen use, right? Like these do. And these are wonderful because they're so thick, 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 thick. The heat does not come through these with your hands. And um, there's no sewing, there's no folding over, which I, I'm not a fan of those. I've, I've never made one of those. I've been given those as gifts, which I love. You know, the finished product is great. But um, as far as making pot holders, I love this thermal stitch pot holder. And sugar and cream and peaches and cream hold up a lot better. Um, this, now this is looking dingy and I need to do some laundry treatment with some Amway products, right? This is the, what did I call it? The crinkle stitch, something like the, the lemon peel. There are lots of, you know, lots of different names for this stitch this is also in that playlist and um i love this traditional look of a dishcloth it um you know it has the accent colors it's done in that lemon peel or crinkle stitch or whatever and it's got a single crochet border around the edge pretty simple i love this and once again the cotton you use makes a difference um and these definitely minimum of a 36 foundation chain, 36 count. Because, yeah, my hands are, are pretty small, but, um, you know, not everybody's hands are as small as mine. So that's, um, you know, and you can make these sets. You see these sets? These sets had um, two pot holders and two dishcloths. And at that time I was making dishcloths out of um, a mini corner to corner. Instead of double crochet, it is half double crochets. And so a, a, a regular corner to corner has a starting chain of six. And each square has a chain three and three double crochet, right? Well, these 
um, mini corner to corners are um, starting chain of four with a chain two and two half double crochets. So it's the same pattern. It's just a little bit different counts and stitches, right? I don't think... It, so I was selling two pot holders and two dishcloths and I put them together with a little, um, you know, a little torn card with handmade by Dana on them. I sold those at the produce stand in Horseshoe Bend for $15 a set. You can do that. You can absolutely do that. Um, now I think I would include like, I would do like two pot holders and one of these done um, you know, these, these aren't that easy to get straight. Um, where with the corner to corner, it doesn't really matter. But with this pattern, if you're going to sell them, it's kind of important to get these side counts right. <laughs> See, I've got a little buckle in there. Um, to get those side counts right on the border to make them pretty straight. Uh, yeah, one of those and two of these, you can sell those easily for $15 a set, right? So anyway, I, here's a nautical variegated, um, yeah, here's a yellow set, pretty similar to what, um, what I gave mom and, and see how big those pot holders look. That is before washing. So after washing, you know, these, these do tighten up after washing, but that Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, it pretty much shrinks and really fuzzes up. It really doesn't, um, hold up in my opinion, um, for good kitchen use. So I hope this video has been, you know, informative and I hope you enjoy that playlist that I'm putting in the description box of kitchen sets to make. All right. I love you guys. Bye.